So today we have Mr. LeBron James telling us exactly how many posters we're going to get for season six of the Dragon Prince. LeBron, take it away. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Okay, I can explain. You're probably confused. That's a lot of posters. But he might be onto something, so let's get into it. What's going on you guys, James here with some real news and some theories for poster number 3. That's right, we got a brand new poster for season 6 of The Dragon Prince. Now, we've had poster number 1, we talked about it here on the channel. It's Claudia crying in a puddle. And we've had poster number 2, which is this mysterious star touch elf that is somehow conjuring up the moon arcanum, right? And now in poster number 3, well let's just say, the sky's the limit. Did, did, did you get it? Did, yeah. Now before we get into this poster breakdown, if it is your first time here at the channel, welcome to Real James where I love talking about The Dragon Prince, oh and uh, movies, TV, and all the news in between. So if you do too, hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, tap on that bell, like this video, and get loud in the comments and let me know you guys, what do you think of my theories? And give me a theory of your own. Because, yeah, there's something really interesting about this poster and I don't think it's a coincidence we're seeing the same mysterious Star Touch Elf yet again. Alrighty, so let's get right into it, guys. Now, this new poster was revealed on Tuesday, May 14th, just one week after post number two. The caption from the official Dragon Prince post on social media reads, At the eye of the storm, a limitless sky overlooks us in profound silence. Profound, profundus, dominia profundus, maybe? I, I'm kidding. But, man oh man, is this poster awesome. The same mysterious Star Touch L from poster number two reappears again in this poster, and I'm beginning to believe that this is not just happenstance, they're doing this to us on purpose. So now I really just want to get right into the poster, because I'm not going to lie y'all, because we don't have a trailer and a release date, I'm pulling out every detail as I can for this video and for every poster that gets dropped. So yeah, alrighty. Let's start with this Star Touch Elf, right? The skin tone here seems to be more blue than purple compared to poster number two. That could just be the lighting, it could be the circumstance in which this Star Touch Elf finds themselves in. And I will tell you, it does seem like a brighter poster in tone, but brighter doesn't always mean happier. Especially when you look at this Star Touch Elf, they're up to something. They're both making the same face, but there is one glaring difference here, you guys. The key of Erevos is now illuminating with the sky rune in poster number 3, but in poster number 2, it was illuminating with the moon rune. Now, I'm gonna be honest you guys, that to me is very, very telling of what this Star Touch elf is doing, which is possibly conjuring up all the arcanums, we'll get into that in a little bit, but could it be that they're hinting to us that eventually, as we get more and more posters, We'll see this Star Touch Elf's final form. They're powering up, maybe, going Super Saiyan, a different TV show. But I do think that this Star Touch Elf is getting more and more powerful as every poster drops. Now, when it comes to the overall theme of the poster, it seems like each rune that's illuminated ends up being the theme for these posters. We see birds in the background and even puffer bats for this poster because it is the Sky Arcanum that is lit up. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck is a puffer bat? Well, it's a hybrid creature that looks like a part bat and part cute bird. But maybe the puffer bats are actually there not just because they're cute, but because they have significance for this poster and for season 6. Now, according to the Dragon Prince's Wikipedia page, and I quote, puffer bats can be used to cast a dark magic spell that allows people to breathe in the thin air at high altitudes, but they have to be captured when they are at peak of puff. Now I'm really curious, does this mean Callum and Rayla find themselves traveling up a mountain to meet this Star Touch elf? Maybe, but speaking of birds you guys, puffer bats were not the only birds on this poster. We see a green bird on this Star Touch elf's wrist. Now it's the only green bird of its kind in the poster, but whenever I see a green bird, I always think of Pip, King Harrow's bird that has green streaks in its coat. Pip is still alive for all intents and purposes. Of course, the 
ongoing fan theory is that King Harrow didn't die and then go away. King Harrow maybe died, but his spirit lives on in Pip, so technically King Harrow is alive. Verdict is still out for that one. I don't believe it, but it is very interesting to think about. So keeping up with the sky theme here, you guys, if you look even closer towards the bottom of the poster, in the background we see dragons. Yes! Oh, love me some dragons in the Dragon Prince. But hey, could they be representing some sky dragons that we're already familiar with? Zubeya and Zim? Could it be that we'll get more sky dragons in Season 6? Or just more dragons in general? Or are the dragons bowing down to this Star Touch elf because they now control the power of the Sky Arcanum? Hmm. So that's about it for the sky theme and what I can notice in the background. But in the foreground, I want to talk about this spell book. Now, we've seen the spell book being carried by the Star Touch Elf in poster number two. But here in poster number three, it looks a little bit different now that the sky rune is in play. In poster number two, the wind was sort of flowing into the book itself, it seemed. But in poster number three, this book that the Star Touch Elf is carrying, it seems to be erupting with lightning. There are also feathers, a necklace of some sort, and ribbons on the book itself. But honestly, whenever I see feathers that look like this, I always think of Ibis, who was killed by Terry in Season 4. Yeah, you know what, Terry? We're not letting you off the hook for that one, homie. <laughs> and neither is anyone else. But I do think that's about it. I, I didn't pick out anything else in the poster, but if I missed any detail, let me know below in the comments. But this poster continues to make me a little confused but also provide some clarity on two theories i have in my head so let me dive into the very first theory this to me is loreline or a new star touch elf but i'm still going with loreline now we talked about loreline in my last poster breakdown video but i do think the posters themselves are telling us that this star touch elf is gathering each primal source and most likely unlocking the full power of these primal sources which would make this star touch elf the ultimate villain for rayla callum and the gang and everyone in zadia so i know i likened this star touch elf to be like a galactus uh next to erevos who's like the thanos for this universe but if it's true that lower line, or whomever this Star Touch Elf is representing, has each Arcanum and unlocks something. Um, yeah, everyone else is in trouble. Now, my second theory is that, yeah, maybe this is Erevos, and these posters have been symbolizing him gathering the energy from each Arcanum to then unlock the full power of what's inside the cube. Now, do we know what's inside the key of Erevos? It probably just breaks him out of prison. If that is the point of this cube, could it be that Erevos is somehow using somebody in Zadia, maybe it could be Callum, to gather the Arcanums to then break him out somehow? It's a little complex, but there is a possibility that Erevos is using somebody, if of course this is Erevos, to break himself out of prison. Now that'd be interesting. So those are my theories. Again, guys, let me know yours down below. But I don't want to stop this video before pointing out a really cool fan observation from Laura M1531 on X. I believe this is the same Laura that is a friend of the channel here. They've been in the comments. Thank you for your support, of course, if it is you. But I think that they pointed out something that I 110% agree with so let's read their x post together and i quote do you think we're gonna get one poster for each arcanum because that would mean we'll get a sun poster next that blows my mind y'all because that i think is possible there's a rhyme and reason for these arcanums to be the theme of these posters and they're going in order so far of the series itself because if you need a little recap of the book titles the season titles Let's do that now. Book one is moon. Book two is sky. Book three is sun. Book four is earth. Book five is ocean. And book six is stars. And so far, poster number two, of course, had moon as, you know, the theme. And poster number three now has sky. So poster number four, could it have sun? I think so. But then that would mean we're getting like, what, four more posters released? So 
goodness gracious it's a lot of posters it's a lot to talk about on the channel and i'm so ready for it so aaron ehas justin richmond everyone involved bring it on but y'all until then i'm so glad we got to talk about poster number two which i'm sorry poster number three which happens to me i i think it's not as cool as poster number two but they're still very very cool posters so i i love poster number two i love poster number three and poster number one claudio's poster is probably like my third favorite right now but y'all this is an exciting time to be a dragon prince fan because all of the promotion for season six has officially begun and yeah i'm talking about everything else in the future right here on the channel so don't miss out subscribe down below and let me know your thoughts on poster number three Alrighty, y'all. Well, I'm gonna go get ready for the episode 9 title reveal because I have a funny feeling it's gonna make us all very, very emotional. And I'm not ready. Alrighty, y'all. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening.